hello good people welcome to my channel i'm rebecca based in germany i am a dressmaker and embroidery designer i use ember studio to design my pattern i would like to show you my design and i, I hope you enjoy it please like subscribe share Thank you. God bless you. Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm a worker. Today, I would like to show you how to use Ember Studio to create your embroidery design. Let's get started. I have my Ember Studio open. I've chosen my design from import image uh, from my in import image and then I choose my color green this is the pattern that I would like to do this green, this flower pattern I will uh, use it on Oganza Af Ankara I'll make the flower an on Ankara cloth design the leaves I'll make it with embroidery thread but the flower I'll use uh, Ankara cloth so now I'm choosing my design. I'm starting. I have to go round and then click auto column. Go to auto column. But now I'll use I'll use motif because motif make light. Auto column is too much, but with motif you can make light stitches for organza. For organza you have to do light stitches. So I'm going around the pattern drawing pattern. Go to I choose auto color motif here. Yeah. Then I choose fill. I choose fair. So, so. 
the design. from here Now I will du duplicate 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 and then Turn it, go to transfer, and I would like to turn it the other way. So I'll go to my edit notes. My edit notes. <laughs> Now, outside the leaves, I have to make some edge, edge surrounded with it to make it beautiful. When the embroidery machine is teaching, teaching. So, I'll go to convey, convey, and create outline from field. So I'm creating outline. Then I'll go to parameter, which is the stitches that I want, and then. I'll choose certain stitches. I'll choose certain stitches here. And then I have my my leaf pattern done. Now I'm come to the main flower which I will make it application Ap Ankara 
and crack application so now I'll choose my design I'll I have to fit I would like to fill in the middle so that the material would lie down smooth and then outside I will do applicates so I'm going all around the pattern Now I have my my flower edit and now I want to fill it with stitches. This is motif stitches. Now I'll choose the center. I'll choose for the center. Satin stitches. So these stitches will make them. Will make. The pattern lie down smoothly. Now I choose to make the other lines and also with certain stitches. Duplicate and duplicate. And duplicate and then duplicate Now the outside, the flower, the edges, I'm going to use application. So, I'll go to, okay, let me choose the pattern. And then I'll go to convent convent 
concrete outline from film. So I'm creating outline from film. Now I have it, and then I'll go to my paramount and then choose applicates. Now our pattern is done. So now I want to enlarge it. I I want to have big uh, flower pattern on Ankara cloth. So I will choose all. Select all and draw. Now all is done, I'm going to send it to the editor. I've saved and then now it's ready. I'm looking for my I would like to choose the big hoop for this flower. So now it's on the editor. So I'm still going to make it little. I'm going to enlarge it. Again, to save it and then let the machine design it on Ankara cloth with Uganza okay thanks for watching please you subscribe then my next video When I upload it, you will be informed. Thanks for watching. Okay, now I'm saving it on my USB and I'll open it on my. Embroidery editor for the machine, embroidery machine. Okay, thank you. God bless you. Please subscribe. Give me thumb up, please. Now our pattern is ready on on our machine. 
we are going to I'm going to show it on my organza. This is white organza, and I fixed everything. Okay, let's do it. I have.